Um, hi, my name is Patrick Midlin. I've been studying music technology here at NUI Maynooth for three years and I'm about to do a computer music masters. And the area has always intrigued and fascinated me because I think it kind of occupies a unique space between the arts and the sciences. If you're a kind of a science or logically minded person, you could, um, there's plenty of number crunching, maths, formulae, computer programming for you to get your teeth into. But if you're of more kind of artistic or creative disposition, musical, you're not interested in that stuff, a lot of that work has already been done. So you can just pick out of an endless range of software or equipment to use and then have access to unlimited timbres, melodies, rhythms, all the combinations of which we wouldn't have even been able to dream of 20 years ago. And um, I think it's not as alien as a lot of people think it is. Uh, the development of music in Western history has always been kind of parallel and influenced by new innovations in instrumental technology. We have, um, say, Bach's famous uh, organ pieces, Toccata and D minor, um, designed to showcase new technologies and new sounds available in the organs he was working on at the time. And even contemporary music, our idea of the rock band, the jazz band, the band, the drums, bass, guitar, that kind of formula that's become just iconic in pop music wouldn't have been possible without the development of the drum kit the kind of idea of a portable rhythm section. And I think now it's a bit overwhelming because in the last 10 or 20 years with cheap and affordable computer technology and um, education in the field, we have access to every possible sound imaginable, every kind of timbre or combination of instruments. And I think people find it a bit overwhelming to even think of using it. People need to stop looking at music technology as a kind of a really technical, involved, elitist kind of field and more of a series of tools where you can just express any kind of idea in any kind of way through sound, through music, through rhythm, through patterns, through whatever you want. And that's what I think makes the area so exciting. It's the kind of boundary between ideas and reality is that little bit thinner. So it's always an exciting area to work with and to be part of the community here. And I look forward to seeing what kind of new people the term will bring in and what kind of new ideas we're going to end up using.